ازيكم اعزائنا المشاهدين في حلقه جديده من برنامجكم علاجك في بيتك بنحب نرحب بدكتور جويس معانا هنا في الاستوديو اهلا وسهلا بيكي آه النهارده هنكمل معاكم آه ايه اللي استفدناه من الاعشاب بطريقه طبيه او بطريقه علاجيه فحابين النهارده نديكم فكره عامه انه ممكن نستخدم الاعشاب او التوابل اللي موجوده في البيت مش بس لتدبير الطعام وكمان ممكن نستخدمها كعلاج بسيط في البيت فحابين دكتور جويس تقول لنا النهارده تكمله عن بعض الاعشاب اللي ممكن نستخدمها باسلوب علاجي في البيت Yes, there are many that are very useful, and I've chosen the most common ones to talk about. Mm -hmm. And we've been going through some of the ones that have been listed in the Natural Remedies Encyclopedia, 126 of them. And so we're going through, and today we're going to talk about chamomile, which is number 17 on his list of the most important. Mm -hmm. So chamomile affects the nerves, stomach, kidneys, spleen, and liver. And internally, mm. it's good for insomnia, people who can't sleep, mm. and nervousness. It increases the appetite and helps those with weak stomachs. It reduces inflammation and aids digestion and sleep. It's also good for menstrual cramps, which a mm. lot of people suffer from, kidney, spleen, or bladder problems. And it acts as a diuretic and nerve tonic and is useful remedy for stress, mm. anxiety, and indigestion. And because it's a diuretic, it's not recommended for people who are, ladies who are pregnant. Mm -hmm. It can also be used safely for children and especially for colds, indigestion, and nervous disorders of children. It also relieves the cramping associated with menstrual cycle. It's an anti-spasmodic and a soothing bath additive. It's good for dizziness, gas, hysteria, jaundice. It's also good for low back pain, rheumatic problems, and rashes. طيب نقدر نعرف الكمية اللي ممكن نستخدمها لعلاج الواحد في البيت بالطريقة بتاعة الكاموميل أو البابونك لو نقدر نقول. Sure, uh, we steep uh, 30 grams of the flowers. The flowers are the the part that we use from the chamomile for 10 to 30 minutes and we shouldn't boil it so we pour boiling water over it but we don't boil it mm -hmm. okay and take about 200 milligrams two to three times per day mm -hmm. and then we don't we can also use it on the outside of our body not necessarily only on the inside mm -hmm. so on the outside well it's not really outside it's our mouth mm. we can use it as a mouthwash for mm -hmm. minor gum and uh, infections and you can hold it in your mouth temporarily it'll take care of a toothache mm. it's also a good wash for sore eyes and open sores mm -hmm. and we can also use it as a wash or a compress for skin problems inflammation of the mucous membranes mm -hmm. um, well can you, use you can it you can either put it like this in your eye and let mm -hmm. it run over mm -hmm. or sometimes uh, you can get sure. from the pharmacy a little eye cup you put the the tea in there and go like that mm -hmm. for your eye mm -hmm. it's not it's easy but it's it's gonna be done. <laughs> <laughs> even people who have hemorrhoids if they mm -hmm. sit in a basin of of the tea mm -hmm. uh, it can be helpful and a foot or a hand mm -hmm. bath um, for sweaty feet or sweaty hands mm -hmm. is good too it also helps asthma in children to relieve the symptoms of cold and how it does that, we would use it as a vapor bath. In other words, not directly uh, inhaling it, but having it in the room as a steam, mm -hmm. like in the bathroom or, or a small, mm -hmm. small room, you can have it as a steam. They can um, breathe in the vapor and it actually helps asthma. Mm -hmm. And then you can also use it as a fomentation for cramps, abdominal cramps, uh, even muscle cramps mm -hmm. and gas pains and mm -hmm. swellings. طيب هاي لي اي استخدامات خارجيه الكاموميل؟ Yes, as I said, they they have uh, we can use it as a poultice mm -hmm. or a fomentation mm -hmm. for cramps and gas and swellings, and then uh, like in the eyes or in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. ممتاز. طيب عبي حبي نعرف أعشاب أكتر النهاردة عن عشان ممكن تفيدنا في العلاجات. Yes, so the next one we'll talk about is number 25 on the list of 126. Mm -hmm. 
a helpful herbs, and it's the licorice root. Now this, mm -hmm. we've talked about flowers, we've talked about the leaves, but this is a root. Mm -hmm. And it can help with bronchial problems, coughs, hoarseness of the throat, mm -hmm. uh, mucus congestion, and similar problems. It can also mm -hmm. be taken for stomach problems, such as peptic ulcers, mm -hmm. bladder and kidney ailments as well. So it's a wide range of things it's good for. Because it's so good for stomach and intestinal ulcers, um, some people use it. And my father is mm -hmm. one example. He liked to use it because he had uh, upset stomach. It was hard for him to eat beans, things like mm -hmm. that. So he would use it. And then I found out that his blood pressure was going up. Was, and yeah. uh, so I notified him, it's, it's the licorice. So that's one of the warnings of licorice root. Mm -hmm. Anybody who has even normal blood pressure, if mm -hmm. they use a lot of the licorice root, they need to watch it and make sure that it doesn't mm -hmm. raise their, their blood pressure. Mm -hmm. But it's so good for many things. It fights inflammation, and it even kills uh, viral, bacterial, and parasitic infections. Mm -hmm. It helps with that. And colds, flus, lung congestion, and mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's added to cough syrups. تمام هل لي أي تأثيرات تانية ممكن لازم نعرفها عن ال الرب سوس دوت قبل ما نستخدمه؟ That's the main thing. Uh, that's the main thing that you have to worry about licorice root. And you can use other things that help the stomach. Mm -hmm. um, we've talked about flaxseed in the past, and mm -hmm. that because it's so gelatinous. It, it mm -hmm. can be very soothing for the stomach, so we mm -hmm. don't always have to use it for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's um, it's so good for many other things. For instance, for children and elderly people, it's a mm -hmm. very mild laxative. It's not strong, so it's good for that. It can also help uh, form, uh, you know, when we don't brush our teeth enough, well, we get plaque on our teeth. It can actually help the formation of plaque and so mm -hmm. that it prevents bacteria from sticking to our mm -hmm. teeth which is a very good thing and um, <coughs> allergies even chronic fatigue emphysema depression enlarged prostate fever herpes mm -hmm. virus um, that some people are plagued with off and on mm -hmm. hypoglycemia and glandular infection and even mm -hmm. for um, something that's very interesting to me, um, it can stimulate the production of our own body's interferon, mm -hmm. which is something that can inhibit the replication of HIV. Mm -hmm. So they've also um, helped um, people with hepatitis C with this because um, many times if they have hepatitis C, that can eventually turn into liver cancer. Mm. So interferon um, in the licorice can actually help prevent that turning into cancer. Oh, Well, uh, children like candy. So one of the things we have to, to realize is that there are licorice candies, but mm -hmm. it's not necessarily the same thing. We have to make sure what's in them because it may not be licorice at all, but anise mm -hmm. and lots of sugar. Mm -hmm. So it's really not that helpful. But um, again, like you asked if there is more warnings, there's diabetes and mm -hmm. glaucoma and heart mm -hmm. disease because of the high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. um, any high blood pressure can affect diabetes. It can affect mm -hmm. glaucoma. Mm -hmm. So it, it goes back to the blood pressure issue, but uh, mm -hmm. especially those people with uh, heart disease and even those people who've had strokes in the past, mm -hmm. you would want to be very careful because again, the high blood pressure can uh, mm -hmm. problems. And um, anybody who's pregnant should avoid that mm -hmm. as well because Although it helps with menstrual problems, you don't want to increase any um, activity with the uterus being stimulated mm -hmm. uh, while a person is pregnant. And so if you do use it, um, seven days is probably enough mm -hmm. at a time because, again, you can make your blood pressure go up. So mm -hmm. the basic thing is uh, blood pressure. And part of that, I think, is because if you use it too long, your potassium can go down. Yeah. And you know, when you mess with your electrolytes, then uh, your blood pressure can get out of sorts. Mm -hmm. 
طيب يا عشاب تاني ممكن تحبي تضيفي هالنا على الليستة دي Well, number 36. Mm -hmm. Number 36 is cloves. And um, there's a, quite a bit to say, but let's start. Internally, it's also an antiseptic and an antiparasitic. That means it kills worms. Mm -hmm. It also aids in digestion. And it stimulates and warms the system. So people who have cold hands and cold feet, it can actually help them. Mm -hmm. It promotes sweating and colds, flus, and fevers, and can be used to treat whooping cough. Mm. And it can also help expel gas and, and intestinal spasms as well. I always know that we use it for the skin, so we can use it a little bit. One of the best yeah. remedies for a toothache. Mm. Yeah. It's sort of considered <coughs> externally because you're mm. not eating it, but yes, it's very... It's very good for the oil. The clove oil is very good. Yes, محبوبين. it's a lovely taste. I like it too. Mm. But if you're using the oil, um, the warning would be that it's very strong and you don't want to mm -hmm. take it undiluted internally. So mm. uh, if you put it on your tooth, that's fine, but you don't want to just keep Swall swallowing it mm -hmm. because um, without dilution. Mm -hmm. And if you... Uh, I, I don't think... Unless you have a doctor order it, I don't think you should take it purposely um, internally. Unless mm -hmm. you have a doctor's order, because it's so strong, mm -hmm. so strong. طيب حابين نعرف الكمية المطلوب ممكن نستخدمها من الأورنفيل بتكون قد إيه؟ Well, you would steep, say, 30 grams of the cloves mm -hmm. in hot water. Of course, you pour hot water over it and you let it set for five to 15 minutes, and then you would take one or two tablespoons three times a day. It's very strong, mm -hmm. so you don't need a lot. أهلا بكم مرة تانية أحبانا بعد الفاصل الإعلاني من حلقتكم النهاردة من برنامجكم علاجك في بيتك والنهاردة هنكمل معاكم إزاي نقدر نستخدم الأعشاب بطريقة طبيعية كعلاجات منزلية. أحب أرحب بيكي مرة تانية دكتور جويس بعد الفاصل أهلا بيكي حابة تكملي معنا الليستة بتاعة الأعشاب اللي كنا ابتديناها في حلقات مختلفة واللي كنا ابتديناها النهاردة كمان في حلقتنا Well the next one is we've been going through the important herbs that have been listed in the natural remedies encyclopedia we're on number 38 and that's another familiar one to us fenugreek or helba Mm -hmm. It affects the lungs, the stomach, the intestines, and the reproductive organs. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting because it's one of the oldest medicinal plants, even in the time of Hippocrates, but mm -hmm. even before that, in ancient Egypt, it mm -hmm. was used as a medicinal plant. It's useful for all mucous conditions of the lungs. Large amounts are given to strengthen those who are suffering from tuberculosis or recovering from an illness. The tea is excellent for sore throats, for a drink, and a gargle. Mm -hmm. It's also good for fevers, for bronchitis, stomach ulcers, diabetes, gout, mm -hmm. asthma, emphysema, hay fever, heartburn, hoarseness, migraines, neuralgia, which is mm -hmm. nerve pain, uh, sciatica pain, That uh, comes from the back and goes down the back of the leg many times on people. And it's also helpful for gas. Mm -hmm. It reduces the mucus, so that's why it helps the, the asthma and the sinus problems. Mm -hmm. It also promotes lactation in nursing mothers. Mm -hmm. It helps lower cholesterol. Many people have a problem with that, so this is another good remedy to use. And it also helps in blood sugar problems, mm -hmm. and it helps stabilize sugar levels. It's also good mm. for the eyes. Mm. Externally, we can use it for boils and mm. carbuncles, abscesses, and that's when we would use either a compress or maybe even a um, poultice mm -hmm. to help with those things. It uh, helps with a sore throat. You can gargle with it. Mm -hmm. And even dry skin conditions, you can actually bathe in it, mm. put some in your water. So if you're going to make a poultice, you would pulverize the seeds, make them smaller, and place it over wounds, fistulas, tumors, sores, 
areas of gouty pains, those are pains with people who have very high uric acid. Mm. Uh, sometimes you get swollen and painful joints, so it would help uh, putting a poultice over those areas. Mm -hmm. Swollen glands and skin irritations. هو رائع كمان اذا راح نجيب ذكرتي انه كمان كويس للصداع فدي حاجه يمكن يعني اغلب الشعب العربي بيعاني منها دلوقتي انه بس يمكن ما بنشربش ميه كفايه كمان مم. والحلبه من المعلومات اللي بنسمعها دايما ان هي ممكن تغير رائحه الجسم فبنحتاج نشرب ميه اكتر عشان نعوض التركيز العالي بتاع الطعم بتاع الحلبه في الجسم كمان طيب حابين نعرف قد ايه الكميه اللي ممكن نستخدمها بقى في الحلبه عشان تتحول لحاجة علاجية كمان معنا. Right, so if we take 30 grams of the seeds, because that's mm -hmm. the important part of the fenugreek, mm -hmm. and steep it for 5 to 15 minutes, in other words, pour boiling water mm -hmm. over it and let it sit for 5 to 15 minutes. And then you can take one cup during the day, hot or cold, mm -hmm. it doesn't seem to matter, as mm -hmm. you like, depending on if it's winter or mm -hmm. summer. Hey, but Duffy can I fish it? So that's that's the basic dose for these things that we mentioned. Does. طيب حابين نعرف اكتر عن الاعشاب واللست عندنا طويله وفيها حاجات كتير مفيده وسهله. ايه تاني موجود عندنا يعني في الليسته بتاعتنا النهارده؟ So we have number 41 which mm -hmm. is parsley. And this is a very common one but so useful as well. Mm -hmm. It affects the kidneys, the bladder, the stomach, mm -hmm. the liver and the gallbladder. Mm -hmm. And internally, um, asthma, mm -hmm. coughs, and difficult menstruation. It's also good for jaundice, difficult urination, mm -hmm. stones, and obstructions of the liver and the spleen. Mm -hmm. And it helps the function of the thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. uh, many people are having a lot of problems with their thyroid gland, and this can actually help the function. Mm -hmm. It expels worms relieves gas mm -hmm. and freshens breath. You know, we talked about garlic mm -hmm. earlier and um, it can actually help freshen the breath of onion, raw, onion, raw yeah. garlic, and if we um, have enough of it. It's because it's very high in chlorophyll, mm -hmm. which it gets the green color from the sun. Mm -hmm. And the chlorophyll, uh, actually they sell some chlorophyll tablets for the same person of, of freshening the breath. Mm -hmm. So you can get it straight from the plant if you wish. That's because it affects the, the bladder and the kidneys, mm -hmm. yes. So if you make a fresh juice of the leaves, mm -hmm. Um, it doesn't taste all that great, so if mm -hmm. you if you don't like the taste, you can always put a little apple juice with it. Mm -hmm. But um, it can help simple anemia because mm -hmm. it, it contains a lot of iron. Mm -hmm. And the root cooked in a soup will strengthen the, the weak and sensitive people, so you can actually use the root too. Mm -hmm. um, it's good for children who have a problem with bedwetting, mm -hmm. uh, fluid retention, high blood pressure, indigestion, obesity even, and prost prostate disorders. Parsley actually, and this is amazing to me, but it actually contains a substance that prevents the spread of cancer cells. Mm. In fact, they use it, they can use it in the treatment of cancer. Mm -hmm. So I think that is very interesting and helpful. Yes, it can be used externally and the thing that they list here is for eyes, mm -hmm. you know, conjunctivitis, when you have the white part of the eye getting red and the eye mm -hmm. is inflamed and sore, it can help with that. You can make a little, um, with the juice, a little tea, dilute it with water and rinse the eye. Mm -hmm. And also inflammations of the eyelids, so it's very good mm -hmm. for that as well. <clears throat> طيب حابين نعرف في اي تحذيرات ممكن تحذرينا حضرتك منها من استخدامنا للبقدونس؟ It's a, the only warning is if there's um, an acute inflammation or acute infection mm -hmm. because it's a warming herb it might mm -hmm. not be useful right then so mm -hmm. you wait until the acute stage is passed before using it. طيب mm -hmm. um, ايه تاني في الليستة؟ أنا واثقة إنه القائمة بتاعتنا طويلة وفيها حاجات كتير. Um, did we talk about the dose 
I don't think I talked about the dose for the parsley. Uh -huh. um, so if you use the fresh herb, you can mm -hmm. use about 60 grams. If you use the dry, you can use 30 grams mm -hmm. and um, put water in it and then uh, steep it for five to 15 minutes. And you can take one to two cups daily. So that's the, the dose mm -hmm. for that. ممتاز. طيب نحب ننتقل أعشاب عشب تاني أو هرب تاني ممكن ننتقله. Yes, number forty-five. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is another familiar one, and this is sage. And this affects the bowel, the sinuses, bladder, mucous membranes, and the nerves. Mm -hmm. And this was new to me. I didn't realize this before, but it's best uh, known for reducing perspiration. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I know a lady who, she says, I sweat all the time. <coughs> and uh, this would really be good, I'll suggest it for her. If, mm -hmm. you, um, if you take some sage, and I'll talk about the dose later, mm -hmm. the effect starts in about two hours, and uh, the effect can last for several days. So people who really have a problem with sweating, this can be very helpful. And people with tuberculosis um, many times have night sweats and it's very mm -hmm. uncomfortable and they have to sometimes get up and change their clothes and even the bed sheets. Mm -hmm. So this is very useful for, for night sweats as well. If a mm -hmm. mother weans her child, it helps stop the flow of blood. She needs to take mm -hmm. it for several days until um, the milk stops, but it's, it's good for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, also stomach troubles. Diarrhea, mm. gas, dysentery, colds, flu, and uh, even people who are going through menopause and they have these hot flashes that are very uncomfortable uh, can actually help with that as well and make them less mm -hmm. nervous conditions, trembling, depression, dizziness, and even the throat and tonsils. It, it soothes the throat, and mm -hmm. uh, if you have laryngitis or tonsillitis, uh, you can use it as a gargle. It's very nice for that, especially if you add a little lemon juice and honey. It's mm -hmm. very soothing for the throat as well. هي صحيح طعمها حلو أنا جربتها كانت يعني عن قريب اللي تعرفت على المريمية وكان بالنسبة لي بس مهدئة للأعصاب أثناء العمل وإحنا في الشغل ممكن حاجة سريعة لا هي بتنيمنا ولا هي بت بتدينا طاقة زايدة لكن طعمها كويس وبتهدي الأعصاب كمان. <تصفيق> ممتاز طيب نقدر نعرف ازاي نستخدمها خارجيا كمان مش بس داخليا mm. للجسم Sage can be mixed with honey and lemon juice and it makes a very nice gargle for sore throats and all mouth diseases actually and it tastes good besides <laughs> and then it can also be a wash for wounds that are slow to heal you know a lot of people have mm -hmm. wounds on their legs that are slow to heal diabetics especially it can uh, you can mix it with water mm -hmm. and use it as a wash and um, if you use it on your hair, it can eliminate dandruff, it can make the hair shine, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. actually it stimulates hair growth, which is uh, good news for a lot of people. <laughs> and then you can also use it for insect bites. Type, I think that the amount we can use in our treatment here. Well, if you use the dried sage, you would use 30 grams of that, or if it's the fresh, you would use 60 grams, mm -hmm. and you would steep it for 5 to 15 minutes in boiling water, mm -hmm. and then you could take one tablespoon as needed, or one to two cups throughout the day. Yes, there is, because... Um, if you use it too often and too much, mm -hmm. you can actually get to where you're poisoning your body because it's a strong mm -hmm. herb. So mm -hmm. you just use it judiciously. If you use it on the outside, like for your hair, mm -hmm. no problem. ممتاز. وبهنا أعزائي المشاهدين بتنتهي معاكم حلقتنا النهاردة عن الأعشاب. خليكوا دايما معنا واتذكروا إنه في تحذيرات لاستخدامنا للأعشاب دي وفي كميات محددة محتاجين نعرفها. تابعوا دايما الدكتور معاكم انه يكون عارف انتوا هتستخدموا ايه او هت هتتناولوا ايه نوع من الاعشاب علشان ما ياثرش عليكم بالسلب. اتمنى لكم ان انتوا تجربوا كل الاعشاب اللي انتوا اتعلمتوا عنها النهارده انه كمان نعرف اكتر عن الاعشاب في الحلقات اللي جايه ان شاء الله خليكم معنا في حلقات قادمه ما تنسوش تبعتوا لنا على الايميل اللي بيظهر قدامكم بنحب نسمع استفساراتكم او اي تعليقات عندكم واذا فاتتكم اي حلقه تابعونا وابعتوا لنا واحنا ان شاء الله هنبعتها لكم مره ثانيه